What's up everyone? Happy Friday. It's Lorenzo from Lazaro Brand TV. Lazarobrand.com. If you want to see us in person, Botanica San Lazaro here in Clifton, New Jersey. I want to continue these segments of giving you guys some really good, easy spell work to do at home. That way you can do it in front of your own altar, with your own sayings, with your own intentions, with your own energy. And to me, that always works best. So here in the Botanica, we always get a wide range of issues. And I definitely want to say the number one issue I have here is, drum roll, you haven't guessed already, definitely relationship problems. So I want to give you guys something, whether you're struggling in a 20 year marriage, or if you guys are six months deep into uh, who knows what this is type of relationship, I want to give you something that you can use on all levels to bring some peace and understanding and healing into your relationship. So let's just jump right in and we're doing something for love. So we're gonna do a nice red cloth. So we got a nice red cloth, nice red foundation for love. We got a nice white clean altar plate that we're going to be doing our spell work on and we're going to be using first ingredient is thyme thyme is good to bring gentleness and understanding into a relationship so we're going to put a circle of thyme around this plate which is going to enclose our spell when it's all said and done all right so we're going to start there Okay, we're gonna have our figure candles. Notice our figure candles are already unwrapped. I'm very big on having your altar ready to do your work. That being said, let me follow my own practices. Let's get our herbs out. Cause there's nothing like, oh, I gotta use herbs and then your hands are full of oil and, and then you're struggling. So we have everything from paper towels here to our herbs that we're gonna have ready to go when we need it in a little bit. Makes it nice and easy for us. You know, I'm even gonna go as far as uncapping my oils. That way that's ready when needed. Okay, so now that we're good to go. So now we have our figure candles. I'm using a man and a woman. I'm keeping it basic. If it's two men, if it's two women, you use the candles that are symbolic to your relationship. So I'm going to carve. I'm going to still use my, my Cupid arrow. I like this thing. Um, again, symbolizing Cupid. Cupid is love. So we're going to carve the names of each person. Right? We have that ready to go. Then what we're going to do is now that we're already into your, your spell work and your thinking and you know, about your relationship. If it's something that you're really troubling you and you're feeling very emotional about, it shouldn't be hard to muster up a few tears. Tears are great because it means suffering from the heart. So you're gonna use your own tears, if you could get some, and you're gonna rub them on the candles. What this does is giving your own ache or your, your spiritual energy, but it's what's one of the things that's gonna help get your request answered faster because it's coming from the heart. So we're gonna have our tears on these candles. Then we're gonna go with carnation. Carnation oil is good to bring healing into a relationship, solves a lot of love problems. So we're gonna put a little carnation in our hands. I like to do it this way. Then the next we're gonna do is rose geranium. It is an emotional cleanser for the heart. So what happens? Our emotions get all out of control. We start freaking out because who washed the dishes last? Right? But how many times have we argued about the dishes? So now that we have our oils ready to go, we're gonna rub our candles down, right? 
And again, as we're doing this, we're thinking about our significant other, we're thinking about our relationship, we're thinking about what we want to heal, what we want to cleanse. Okay? Then next, we're going to use Abre Camino. Abre Camino, a lot of people, this is dried up. Um, Abre Camino, everybody thinks good luck and money, which it is. But in this case, we're using it to open up the relationship. You know, we get a lot of obstacles. We get a lot of things in our way. People, places, and things, right? So we're going to put some Abre Camino herb there. We're going to think about what we want. And we're going to think about removing the obstacles that are in our relationship. Okay. So we're going to put these two candles here. This is why it's good to have some paper towels, right? So now, last thing we're going to do is we're going to use a hematite stone. Hematite stone is very good for physical and emotional healing and balancing. And it also brings trust into a relationship. Um, and not only that, hematite is a magnetic stone. So we want to put some magnetism in your relationship. This one actually is pretty cool. Nice little diamond shape. Um, they could be round, they could be square, it could be whatever. So we're going to put a hematite in between the two of you, asking to draw you guys together and balance out your emotions. And then the last thing, you're going to light up, you're going to light your candles, giving your spell some life. And again, you're asking for what you want the whole way through. So this is a great love healing spell on all levels. Um, I actually have a bonus that we can do once these candles burn down. So now, you know, picture these candles already melted down to the wick. You're going to see like a little pool of wax. What we, what's really good is you can scrape that wax off the plate, right? And then what happens to wax, once it already melts, it's kind of easy to manipulate. So we're going to take our hematite stone and that white wax and a little bit of the herbs. And we're going to kind of like just push it together. It doesn't have to go crazy, but you're going to make like a little ball. You're going to make a little ball out of the leftover wax, right? And you could put it into your red cloth. And then you want to tie it. And as you're tying it, you're tying your relationship together. You're tying the bond between the two of you and you're creating this. Pretend your little balls in here. And now you have a little handmade little love satchel um, with your spell work inside. And then you could take this, put it on your altar. You can put it to Oshun. You could put it to Aphrodite. You could put it to Venus. You could put it to whoever you feel. You could put it to your grandmother that's helping you in, uh, from the other side. And you're asking whoever it is that you put it to, to help continue this spell that you did and bring your relationship some healing and love and trust and balance back together. Um, you could keep this as long as you want. Um, I would suggest every once in a while, take it out, light a little candle, burn some incense, give it some life. You got to boost it up because if you just leave it there getting dusty, guess what? Your spell is going to get dusty. If you bring it out, sage it, clean it. Put a little love incense, put a candle, put something to, to boost it, you know, every once in a while. The day you're ready to get rid of it, take it, go to the river, thank you for everything, and you throw it in the river. Water cleanses, it removes, it breaks. So now you're going to take your spell, throw it into the river, bon voyage, you know, and, and keep it moving. So I think that was great. Easy, simple, practical. Any questions, you could leave comments uh, on Instagram, which is Botanica San Lazaro is our Instagram, Facebook, call us here at the shop, whatever you want to do. We're always here for you guys. Have a good weekend. See you next Friday. Mm -hmm.